I'd like to think that my mind and body are in sync all the time, but that doesn't happen always. I think nurses uh, really view the mind and the body as quite uh, contiguous, whereas a lot of our thinking in our society, there's a division. I think when you're not completely in sync, for instance, when you're just very busy and you're just like stressed and you feel like, you know, under the weather, your immune system just goes down and your body tells you you need to do something about it. Most of us start out as healthy when we are young, but when that goes wrong, Tibetan medicine tries to bring you back in balance and your natural health. Tibetans were situated geographically close to India and China for centuries and had close cultural ties. Ayurvedic medicine from India, many elements of Chinese medicine and indigenous Tibetan practices were combined and resulted in this comprehensive medical tradition. Before the 20th century, when our biomedicine started, the Tibetan medicine was the most complete, uh, most documented scientific kind of medical practice that existed. So the Four Tantras is the very basic text in Tibetan medicine. So anybody who is interested to study Tibetan medicine will have to engage as deeply as possible with the Four Tantras. There is a very important uh, device built into the Four Tantras in order to facilitate memorization. And that is the metaphor of the trees. The trees help students as a mnemonic device to recall the chapters and the topics that they have to learn. I really think that the greatest thing we're offering to our public for this exhibition is the opportunity to experience what it would be like if you saw a Tibetan doctor. And the, one of the great ways we're doing that is offering a questionnaire. Because at the core of meeting with a Tibetan doctor is the experience of being actually asked a series of questions, is to understand who you are and what issues you might have in your health. Nourishment is hugely important in Tibetan medicine, so we'll be exploring food and diet. The cafe is part of the whole experience because in Tibetan medicine, what you eat is medicine. Nourish, Practice, Know is a series of events and workshops that take the conversation further. We're going to practice meditation, but also Tibetan yoga, which very few people know about. Oh, in the living mandala, where you actually get to step inside a painting, we physically emulate the mental processes of engaging and meditating on a mandala. The more engaged you are with the ideas in the exhibition, the more you can reflect on how they might apply to you. I think that this exhibit may be a way to look at myself, look at other people, uh, through a different framework. I hope I can learn something that I can start uh, applying in my daily life. Another reason for me to go back to the museum. As we grow older, we become much more concerned with our health. But what the Tibetan doctors would teach us is that it's a lifelong connection.